Welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. Today I get to open up a lovely big box. And that's right, this box has come all the way from here in New Zealand. <laughs> Zen Designs, a really cool supply company here in New Zealand. They've been around for quite a while and I've always loved them. And today I placed, well not today, a couple of days ago, I placed a big order and all thanks to my dad. Shout outs to dad. And it was a birthday present for me for my 35th birthday. So I thought I would bring you guys along to open up my present, you know, and check out all the cool soapy goodies that I got. So come along with me and I'll show you what we got. Squee! Okay, so let's get into this. This was a really very lovely gift from my dad. He bought me this and he let me go to town and order all sorts of things that I would never have got. And I ordered all of it from Zen Designs and asked for some sub little samples of things. So they've included me some samples. I have a sample here of aloe vera powder, which is exciting. That will be really, really nice in a soap or in a lotion. I have some magnesium flakes. That's another sample that Zen Designs included because I requested it. Here is a little puffer that you put eco glitter into. So I recently purchased from them. I I recently purchased from them bio glitter in silver and bio glitter in red. And these are much more likely to become airborne, I noticed, than the other glitter. So whatever they're made out of, whatever this biodegradable material is that they're made out of, it's more likely to f sort of puff up into the air, and therefore you're more likely to sort of breathe it in, which isn't so nice. So I got this little bottle from them, and I just got the one to try it out. I thought I'd put the silver in it, because that's what I got the most of, and that's the one that I tend to use just on any soap that's going to get glitter because silver can pretty much go with any colour but I also got red because I was doing those fox soaps so um, I don't think I've posted that video yet stay tuned and you will get to see the fox soaps that I'm talking about but yeah you can sort of see like it's even just trying to become airborne just now even as I'm talking about it so I think yeah there's some already that's landed down here it's sort of, even though these are well sealed, <laughs> it's really like, inclined to become airborne. It's really lightweight. So I think something like this would be really good to invest in. It's a really interesting looking mechanism in there. That's sort of like a dry puffer. So I'll be able to just like press the little button there and puff the glitter onto whatever. And then hopefully it'll be less of it in the air. It's still going to be in the air and you still need to probably... You know, cover your mouth or just try not to breathe in too deeply. Do it in a well-ventilated area, most definitely. All right, next up we have some Himalayan black volcanic salt. It's all right, not pink Himalayan salt. I'll get some pink Himalayan salt so I can show you what I mean. So here we have some pink Himalayan salt. And I'm sure you're pretty used to seeing that. This one, however, is black volcanic Himalayan salt. So I'm really excited. They said it had kind of a sulfuric smell. And they said it was really good for topping soap. So less likely to dissolve the way these salts can do. Oh, that's open. Just be careful not to get salt everywhere. So yes, so these ones, when you um, put them on top of a soap, they can sort of like dissolve. They can like sort of dissolve they get wet turn into little wet salty puddles on your soap and that's not ideal so this won't do that apparently but they also recommended that you could get some of it and mix it with a little bit of essential oil or fragrance oil just to help remove that sulfuric smell let's see how sulfuric it smells oh wow no i like that it doesn't actually smell like rotorua guys it's got almost a licorice kind of a smell that's incredible it just looks like little rocks. Wow, that's cool, man. So I'm really excited to try that. I was even thinking I might grind some very finely and mix it into some soap, maybe. Because I love doing salt soaps. 
and that would be a super unique salt soap. So that's that one, that's the black Himalayan volcanic salt. Then I got some more menthol crystals. This is, these are really great for um, muscle relaxing balm that I make. With I use lemongrass essential oil with these menthol crystals. And then you can rub it on your chest if you have a cold. You can rub it on sore muscles. It's really good stuff. Like it's helped me out a couple of times recently when I've had sore neck and back problems. And I've used it and it's just wonderful. Kind of like Icy Hot or Deep Heat which those are sort of like product names. And this is what one of the um, methyl crystals looks like. I really love them. It sort of reminds me of, you know, a shard of rose quartz, a clear quartz crystal or something like that. It's really neat. And um, you can actually use these. I've actually melted these directly into my base oils to make a peppermint soap when I didn't have any peppermint essential oil. So you can actually use them in that way. And you can use them in a bath bomb mix as a shower steamer for you know winter time when people have got sniffles the idea is that you take it and instead of dropping it in your bath water like you do with a bath bomb you place it in the shower just not in the direct um line of where the shower water is going though so it's going to kind of get it's going to get activated by the warmth and the steam all around you and then it's going to you know release all those beautiful mentholy smells and then you're going to have clear nose it's a great way to start the day so there's a little hint for you now I'm going to show you a very interesting product that I got. I saw this many, many years ago that Teach made a soap with it. This is caffeine powder. And I've never been able to get some, so I was really excited to get some. And it's just kind of like a plain white powder. There's nothing too unique about it. I'm not going to go ahead and open it right now because I'm worried it's going to go everywhere. But this would be really nice in an eye cream. It would also be really good to make coffee soap, which is how I saw Teach using it, was for coffee soap. So that's my caffeine powder. And I also got a lot of arrowroot powder. Main reason for that is because I've been trying to find... Um, cornflour. I've been trying to find cornflour and I haven't been able to get it. So yeah, this is 2 kgs. This is a huge amount of arrowroot powder. And the reason I got it is because I want to make all natural deodorant and it requires arrowroot powder or cornflour but I believe I can use this instead and it's got the same sort of extraordinarily fine consistency like the cornflour has. Um, funnily enough I noticed that you can buy very small bags of cornflour at the supermarket and I probably could have just bought four or five of those or six or ten or something but i wanted to buy a big amount and i couldn't find anywhere to buy a big amount of corn flour so i got this huge amount of arrowroot powder honestly that's like whoa some serious arrowroot powder there so that's really really cool that'll keep me in stock of that for ages then i got some melt and pour i ordered the low sweat and i ordered the clear because i tend to like to use it um, as you probably know if you watch my channel, I don't use Melt and Pour very often, but I do like to use it occasionally for a little product like this one. This is my Orange You Glad soap. I dry the orange peel and then I've used orange and lemongrass essential oil, a little bit of cinnamon to help really pop those citrus notes, a little bit of mandarin, a little bit of grapefruit essential oil. So it's really lovely citrusy soap and it's 100% inspired by Lush's Sexy Peel. So I tried to essentially make something very much like that. And I just really like how you can see the peel through it. It also makes for a nice exfoliant when you wash with it. And yeah, so that's kind of neat. The other use that I will use these for is for toppers occasionally. Occasionally I'll make little melt and pour toppers. On the whole though, I don't really use that much melt and pour. I do like to play with it when I don't have any soap orders and it just gives me something fun to do. So recently I did that and I made these donuts. I made, um, they're supposed to be like a snow globe donut. So there's all these pieces you can see through. Again, scented in citrus. Because of the fact that I cannot really get citrus to stick in the way that I want it to in cold processed soap. And so I've been using it in melt and pour because it really smells great in melt and pour. And I made three of those and it used up all the melt and pour that I had left. So that's why I got some more. Love how these smell and look. And I'm thinking they'd go really well with those donut bath bombs. So you get a donut soap and a donut bath bomb. That would be really neat. <laughs> So the next thing is some isopropyl alcohol 
And this is basically glue for this, which you probably already know if you're a soap maker. So whenever you're doing a project where you want to do layers of melt and pour, you must spritz it really, really liberally with isopropyl alcohol. And whenever I do, like when I do the peel, I spritz all the peel with it as well, just to help it all stick. So isopropyl alcohol. And some sweet almond oil as well in a little jerry can. And I really like this for bath bombs, but I also really love it for anything that you want to make leave on. So I've recently, just for myself, been making this oil that I'll put on my whole body, my face, my hair. And it's usually mostly sweet almond oil, a little bit of sunflower oil. Just really light oils that absorb well into the skin. I don't recommend that for everybody because not everybody wants to add that much oil onto their skin. But for me personally, I tend to dry out, especially around winter time. And I find that something like this with a little bit of essential oil in it, I never use fragrance oil in it. So currently I've got one that's lavender and one that's lemongrass. And I'll use the lavender one in the evening and the lemongrass in the morning obviously we got one to pick me up and one to help me relax but um I, like i say i put it in the um, ends of my hair it helps with frizziness i rub it all over like my legs and arms for dryness it's just really nice you can even put a few drops of it into your bath and soak with a little bit of bath oil no emulsifier anything purely natural just oil and a little bit of essential oil so simple to do and really really nice way to you know pamper yourself Right, so now we get on to the fragrance oils. I got more kumquat fragrance. And you guys are probably thinking, what? Because I literally just got a new 100ml bottle of this. But it was on the end of line. That means it's going out of stock. And they're not going to be having it any longer once it sells out. And I didn't want to run out and then not be able to get it again. Because I love it. It's very citrusy and bright. It stands out really well in soap. I say really well, but you know what I mean. It does tend to fade in the cold process over time. Although I'm tr I'm playing with that, so stay tuned. I'm thinking more, up the amount that I add. But I also need to find ways to anchor these citrus scents because they are top notes. They tend to be flighty, <laughs> pun intended. And so therefore we need something to anchor them so they won't disappear. But I love it in bath bombs. I love it in lotion. I'm just really digging that kumquat. So when I saw that it was going away and we weren't going to have it anymore, I just thought, oh, I have to, I have to get more of that. So yeah, it's quite, quite silly. I literally have a brand new bottle of that. So now I have two brand new bottles. The next fragrance that I got has been highly recommended to me by the ladies on the Kiwi Soap Makers group. It's called Ombre Lumiere. I hope I'm saying that right. They were saying it's really good as a man scent. But to be fair, I've been wanting to try Egyptian Amber from Zen Designs for a while, and I've heard good things about it. So when I read that this was basically like a with amber scented kind of, I know that's a weird thing. I can't even think in my mind what amber scent. I can't picture it all, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, this is supposed to be good for a man soap, and it's supposed to be it's supposed to tick both those boxes. It's also supposed to be an amber scent. So let's give it a smell. I'm excited to see what this smells like. Oh, no, I don't get man immediately from it. I get a very much like a musky, yeah, definitely like an Egyptian amber. I like it. I like it. My mind's already racing with different ideas. What can I do? What can I do with that? You won't need much of it if you're using it in a leave-on because it's so lovely and deep and strong. So if you're using it in a moisturizer, it's not going to take much at all. So that will make it last. If you're going to use it in soap, though, and as I just discovered, because this is the next scent as well, with sandalwood, because I literally used up my whole bottle just making a double batch of it. I can't believe it. There's only the tiniest bit left. So yeah, this is the one I got from New Zealand Soap and Candle. It's just straight up sandalwood. And I haven't used it up, but there's only a little bit left. So like of a 50ml bottle, I probably have maybe 20 mils. Maybe more like 15 mils left in there. It's hard to show you because it's in an amber bottle. But this one is called Indian Sandalwood. So it'll be interesting to smell it and see if it smells different or the same. Because, you know, it's just not a name, but it's still sandalwood. And that has proven to be very popular as a soap. So I'm thinking I need to make it in a lotion and some other things as well. It's a really lovely smell. So I'll start off by smelling this one again. Because this is actually quite true to real sandalwood. Yes. That is a really good scent. And I think it'd be great for that natural perfume I was talking about before as well, to do a sandalwood perfume. Uh, sorry, sandalwood deodorant. Natural deodorant. So this is the Indian sandalwood. Oh, that is different. Bugger. 
excuse my language, it doesn't just smell straight up like sandalwood like this one does. It's got sweet, it's sweeter. That's the best way I can describe it. It's sweeter. It's actually sort of similar to this Ombre Lumiere, unfortunately. But it is different. But no, it's not like this one. I prefer this one for sandalwood. This one smells much more true, that New Zealand soap and candle. But to be fair, Zen Designs didn't have a fragrance. It was just called sandalwood. That's why I went for their Indian sandalwood. Now I'm um, opening up a bottle of a fragrance that I have had before and I like it. It's black tie. This is definitely a man scent. Um, I make my man soap with it. I used to use... Um, a different fragrance, I think it was called Animalistic, something like that, but they stopped stocking that one wherever I was getting it, because this just keeps happening to me where they keep blimmin' stopping, stocking the ones. Now I've got some extra fragrances here, they've thrown in some samples for me. I purchased China Rain, and I purchased Oak Moss and Amber, but they've thrown in Saigon Summer and Lemon Meringue Pie. Now I'm really excited about Saigon Summer. I was almost going to buy a bottle of it because I loved my Sweet Saigon fragrance that I had from Australian Candle Supply, I think is where I got that one. And now we can't get their fragrances anymore because they their New, their New Zealand branch shut down. So this one, Saigon Summer, I really hope has a similar smell. So it should just be really, really lemony, really lemongrass. So that's really nice. I've chucked in a 25ml bottle. In the past, when I've asked for samples of fragrances, I've just gotten these teeny tiny little vials. I'll show you one. So yeah, I asked for like a sample of fresh coffee once, and this is what I got. This teeny tiny little sample bottle that you can't really do much with. You can smell it out of the bottle. You get that experience, but it's not enough to make a soap or really use it and find out how it's going to perform. So it's kind of a little bit of a disappointing sample. Whereas this time they've given me this sample and another 25ml bottle as well as the aloe vera powder and the magnesium flax. So that is really super generous. So shout outs and thank you very much to... Who did I deal with? Zen Designs, obviously, but I can't see who I spoke with. Yeah, and I also had managed to accumulate some points and managed to get a discount of $2.97, which isn't much, but hey, every little bit counts. So you, every time you order, if you are a member and you've joined up with them, you accumulate points and then you can use them like that and get a little bit of a discount. So that's kind of neat. So yeah, sorry, I went off track a little bit there. Let's open up Saigon Summer and see how it smells. I'm, I'm thinking super lemongrass. Yeah. That is, that's the same fragrance, I swear, it's the same fragrance that I had from that other company. That's so exciting. That means I will definitely be jumping back on there and buying a bigger bottle of it. It was not in the end of line though, so I don't have to rush. I can go back in, in due time and purchase it. It's just a lovely one that, like this fragrance, is very true to lemongrass. It smells very much like the essential oil. So it's neat when you can find a fragrance oil that does that. This next fragrance oil is called China Rain, and I bought this one because I had a fragrance called Bushwalk that I used to get from Kiwi Soap Supplies that has sadly shut down. Rest in peace, Kiwi Soap Supplies. So um, this one is said to kind of smell a little bit like the Bushwalk was described, so very earthy and kind of, you know, like trees and stuff, really natural, that's what I'm hoping. So let's give this one a smell, China Rain. Hmm, it's not like the bushwalk. I can see how I could round it out with a bit of cedarwood essential oil and make it smell a little bit more earthy. It's really nice. I think that could be a man scent. I can, I'm definitely getting like a man scent from it. It's, um, it's very difficult to describe. It's sweet, but it's also quite earthy. Yeah. And it's not overpowering, which is really nice. So I do like it. It's not the bushwalk. It's not the replacement for bushwalk. I'll have to keep looking. But I do like it. China Rain. I think, again, be very nice in one of my all-natural deodorants. I also think it might be nice in a soap, but I think you'd have to use a fair bit of it to get it to smell 
in the final soap and I don't want to waste it so all right we're down to the last two fragrances here we've got oak moss and amber now I'm pretty sure that I got this one for the same reason that I got China Rain hoping that it would smell like oak moss rather than amber so I'm wanting something that smells like a walk in the bush for my thermal mud soap and if I can't find it I'm just gonna have to do a blend of essential oils and that's not so bad Ooh. oh I don't like that at all <laughs> so funny how people's noses eh? I can I can smell man scent I get man scent from that they would definitely be good for a man soap it's clean it's um how do I describe it I guess musky but it's, it's lighter than that it definitely reminds me of some man perfume I've smelled before so yeah I'm thinking man man scents these ones china rain black tie and oak moss and amber more of those black tie and oak moss and amber so this one here this is the little sample they've cho they've just chosen to send to me of the lemon meringue pie i'm not so sure how i'm going to feel about this some people love these gourmand fragrances that smell like food now for me personally i don't like very many of them <laughs> i love pumpkin chai as you guys know i really dig any sort of chai scent but, you know, I'm not a big fan of chocolate. Um, I don't really... I like the berries. I don't mind black raspberry vanilla and strawberry and all that. But I've had a one... It wasn't called lemon meringue pie, though. It was called cheesecake, I think. Lemon cheesecake. Yes, and it smelled just like this. That sort of baked goods. No, not a fan. Except that it does have the lemony top note. And, I mean, I'm going to find somebody that wants a soap that smells like that or a, or a bath bomb or something and so I'm going to be able to offer it now so thank you Zen because I don't buy those type of scents and people do request them from time to time so I mean check out this huge haul I've got guys I think I've waffled for a long enough time don't you <laughs> I'm really really grateful to my dad for um, hooking me up with this as my 35th birthday present it is so cool and I'm really excited to play with some of these things I've never used before like the Himalayan black salt and the caffeine powder and the magnesium flakes and the aloe vera powder I'm super excited to have a play and I've restocked on some really good stuff too I love menthol crystals they are a bit expensive and it's really good to have them stocked up and I've got arrowroot powder for days so yeah <laughs> I should have only got one kg of that probably but oh well Okay, well thank you so much for watching this video and if you are a soap maker and you live in New Zealand then do head on over to Zen Designs and check out all the wonderful stuff they have. I really can't recommend their fragrances enough because they all come in these beautiful glass bottles and I find that they last longer in these glass bottles than they do in like plastic like I've had before. I'll show you an example. A little plastic bottle. And I just feel like, I don't know what happens, but over time it definitely seems to change and it affects the fragrance. But the glass doesn't do that, so it's really awesome. Um, a huge thank you to Zen Designs for being so generous and including these wonderful samples for me to try, especially this. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> And yeah, I hope you guys really did enjoy watching me open all this stuff and talk about it. I hope it wasn't too boring of a video. <laughs> And yeah, if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that subscribe button down below. Become a member of the Star Soaps family and feel the soapy love. Okay, <laughs> bye guys.